Ooh, there's those pretty cherry blossoms again. I agree completely. And here, ooh, is what we're going to be talking about in this short little video um, on Section 6 to finish up Section 6. One little theorem. Uh, I don't want to say little. It's a pretty impactful one. But it's one theorem relating a tangent-tangent angle to its minor arc. So here's what you can do. Let's write the theorem down. It's theorem 92. I put a blank there for a reason because this is the wording. It says the sum of the measures of the tangent tangent angle and its minor arc is blank well let's draw a circle and in this circle let's draw a couple things let's draw a tangent tangent angle so let's label this point of contact B let's label the actual tangent tangent angle A and this point of contact D I'm gonna put another point out here E and then what I'm gonna say is this this point here we're gonna make this arc, arc B, E, D, that entire arc, you can see it is 200, woo, it is 200 degrees. So that's cool. Now the question again, if I take the measure of this angle and I add it together with this goofy minor arc, that thing right there, the question is what does it equal? Well, this is going to be really interestingly cool. I'm going to prove this one for you and show you how it all works. To fill in this blank, you might have a suspicion, but we'll kind of see what it is. Notice this. It's not asking you to find the measure of this angle yet. It's really just a relationship between the tangent tangent angle and its minor arc, although it will be used to find the arc, or maybe this arc, or maybe this angle. So here we go. Let's rock and roll, and let me show you how this works. Okay, to prove this, here, let's say this is the center of the circle right there. Lovely. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this radius to that middle right there. I'm going to draw this radius from the point of contact right there. Now, you guys know this. A theorem says, hey, well, actually, let's label this O. We're going to need that. So let's say if I have a radius, BO, ooh, the stinky radius, BO, it is perpendicular to the point of contact. It's a theorem we talked about. Same thing down here. So DO, lovely. Okay? So those two things are perpendicular. Now here's a scoop. I know that they're 90 degrees. Watch this. If I take this entire quadrilateral of DOBA, I know that those four angles together must add together to give me 360 degrees. That's what the measure of all four angles of a quadrilateral equal. So if I take angle A plus angle B plus angle C, now I should be writing the, oh, well, sorry, angle O, plus angle D. I should be writing the angle symbols in there. However, since I do not have time and I don't need to write the angle symbols, I'm not doing it. But here's what you got. Angle A plus angle B plus angle O plus angle D is 360. But wait a minute. I just said, and you guys just agree with me, that angle B and angle D are both 90 degrees. So let's replace 90 with B and D. That means I get 360. Yeah. Equals A, whatever that is, we don't know. I have no idea. Plus this B, which I'm going to say is 90 degrees. Plus this O, which I don't know what it is. That's angle O right there. Plus D, which I know is 90 degrees for a fact. We just talked about that. So let's clean this up a little bit. That means I have 360. Proving this for you. I love it. Equals. A plus whatever angle O is, don't know, plus 180. Well, here comes the moment of truth. Are you ready for this? <laughs> if I subtract 180 from both sides, that means I have 180 equals angle A plus angle O. Time out, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at this. I believe the last time I checked, angle O right here is actually a central angle and it's equal to the measure of its intercepted arc so what I can do since these two things are interchangeable this arc sorry and that angle are equal I'm gonna take arc BD which ooh that's the minor arc we're talking about and I'm gonna replace arc BD the measure of that with angle B and it'll look like this so I have 180 equals angle, I'm going to put it in now, angle A plus 
angle O, which is the same thing we just said, as arc BD. Ladies and gentlemen, here I just proved to you every single time you have a picture like this, what goes in the blank. Tangent, tangent, angle. That's this right here, angle A. It's minor arc. That's this thing right here. If I take the sum of those things, the sum of those things, I add them together. It is always, ladies and gentlemen, always, 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 always going to equal 180 degrees. So there is your blank. 180 degrees goes right there. And that's your theorem. It is that simple. And anytime you have a tangent, tangent angle, boy, I hope, I hope that you, let me erase these things. I hope you highlight. I hope you circle. I hope you do what you need to do. But notice, it just says tangent, tangent angle. It's not secant, tangent. It's not secant, secant. It's not inscribed. It's not anything else. It is just tangent, tangent angle. Now, let me show you this because you guys all know this. If I go to the next slide, I mean, you know that if this is 200 degrees like we just have, you would know that this is 160. Why would that be 160? Because, well, 360, the whole thing, subtract away this, leaves you 160. Now you know the measure of this tangent tangent angle is actually one half the difference of these two arcs. And 200 subtract away 160, oh yeah, that would give you one half times 40, which will give you 20. Why am I showing you that? Because yes, you know that this up here is 20, but check this out. A shortcut that I just showed if you'd be so inclined to do it, check this out. The minor arc plus the tangent tangent angle, oh, look at that, is equal to 180 degrees. So, you could have done this formula, or you could have just said, wait a minute, since I know that the sum of the measures of the tangent tangent angle and the minor arc is 180, well then, why don't I just do this? Since I know that this guy right here is 160, well, I know that this angle plus that has to be 180, so that has to be 20. So it's a little easier. It's a little bit of a shortcut. Either way, works. Doesn't matter to me which one you want to use. So awesome. We'll see you in class. I'm excited to master these. Peace.